Hey everybody, welcome back to box eight of the Sorcery Contested Realm beta box breaking party. This is box eight. Um, our last box, box seven, was, in my opinion, a real dud. Uh, we did pull two normal cores, but um, but our foils were very, very lackluster. Um, we are hoping to reverse that trend. Let's do this, let's see, pull them all out. Set the box aside. All right, we'll get cracking here. Really hoping to find uh, foil uniques, or if not that, at least some foil elite. We got skunked on both last box. Iceberg, Kalki Dragonettes, Albatross, Pendulum of Peril. Starting off with a unique right away. Starting off strong there. A unique monument to cyclical cessation. All right, let's see any foils. Our last box was pretty strong in terms of uniques on this right side of the box, uh, but we didn't get any foils. We didn't get our foils until like the left side. So let's see, oh, we have foil already, right off the bat. Sirens, Kobolds, Eel, Infernal Legion. That's an elite. Firebolts, Silent Hounds, Troll, Dispel, Riptide, and Chains of Prometheus. So right off the bat, we do have an Elite Foil. So that, to me, is encouraging. I like that. Of course, I was very encouraged by two, uh, two cores back-to-back -back in the last box, so I could totally be wrong. Let's take a quick look at this foil. That's cool looking, and the back, the foil inside. That's really nice. All right, good foil to start us off. Let's see if we can keep that going. Battering Ram, Divine Healing, we do have another foil. And we have Scorched Earth. That is an Elite. Zombies, Roaming Monster, Drown. Mercenaries, and what do we have? We have Spin Attack. Okay, that is an ordinary foil. But still very cool looking. We don't have that yet in foil. I like that with the dragons. Like, like the dragon hatchlings there. There we go. Colicky dragonettes, probably. There, 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 it is in a regular card. All right. But if you walked into the card store and you just bought three packs and picked those three, you'd be looking pretty good. One unique and two foils. Uh, let's see, we have Holy Ground and then the self-same Simulacrum. It's an elite. And another foil. Another foil. All right, we have an elite foil, Crater Eyes. We have seen that before, um, but that is a cool looking foil. So apparently this is going to be in an avatar. This is going to be one of those boxes where we get a bunch of elite foils, which I'm totally fine with. Obviously, you know, we would prefer uniques, but if you can't have that, we'll take elites. Gargoyle, Worrywart, Lich. And we have the Candlemass Monks. Elite Mortals at Night's Last Service. Very cool looking card. I do not remember finding that one before. I'll have to check and see if that's our first one of those. And nothing else in that pack, which is fun. I don't want to get like all our hits like in one row. I like to spread it out. Hippogriffs, an eagle, has eagle, it's kind of sheep. And oh, we have the enchantress. Oh, that is a sweet looking avatar. Your avatar of transcendent triumph. Oh, that's really cool looking. Tap. Play or draw a sight. That seems like that would be a very powerful ability. That'd be a lot of card advantage, I think. I was watching a game between the, was it the Spark Mage and the Geomancer? And the Geomancer was, I mean, the, the card advantage that that guy was getting was just crazy. All right, we have Earthquake. That's an Elite. 
And Turtles, Apprentice Wizard, Critical Strike, Sleep, Minor Explosion, Ravel, Polar Bears. Alright, we have the Flood, a Unicorn, Giant Shark, and we have a Wrath of the Sea, Elite, Magic of Merciless Deluge. And then our Ordinaries, Grey Wolves, Crisis, Pegasus, Spin Attack, Minikin. We have the Watchtower, the Wildfire, a Grave Golem, and the Great Old One. That's another unique. Right there, that was the unique we ended the box on last time. Go ahead and got that right off the bat. And we have another foil. This is going to be a foil avatar. It's the Spark Mage! <laughs> just like I was just talking about. Spark Mage. Very, very cool looking card. I mean, check that art out. So this would be... That would be the equivalent of an elite, because that, I've, hang on, is that, would that be an elite? Do you get the Spark Mage in the elite spot, or does he come in the common spot? Your avatar's enemies are in for a shock. I don't know, I don't know the, the rarity or the commonality of this particular one. But, that is a cool looking foil. I feel like I feel like all of the avatars, if getting them in foil is very difficult. I don't feel like that they're I don't feel like they follow the same commonality, but I could be wrong about that. Iceberg, Phantasmal Shade, Cave In, and we have the Boneyard, another unique site. Lightning Bolt, Firebolt, All of Ice, Sin Towns, Grey Wolves, Miracle Worker, Air, Spirit, Porcupine. All right, we have Mariner's Curse, Telekinesis, Tide Naiads, and we have the Midland Army. That is yet another unique. So we are, let's see, four uniques in and four foils as well from this first uh, row of packs. And one more pack to go. And we found like half the hits in the box in this pack or in this row. Syrian Templar, that's a cool looking card. Reminds me of the mountain from Game of Thrones. Marine Voyage, the Dapper Vampire. And we have the Master Tracker. That's an elite. All enemies permanently lose stealth. Beast of Burden, Wall of Fire, Ice Lance, Extinguish, Dryads, Cavalry, Nomads, Goons, Workers. All right, done with that first row. Start in on the middle row and let's see how this takes us. All right, we have a updraft ridge, aqueduct, iceberg. That's a triple, triple sight in the exceptional. And then we have the royal bodyguard, who is an elite mortal of steadfast loyalty. And then in our ordinary spots, let's see, no foils in that pack. Crossbow, Shield Maidens, Windblast, and we have the Scorched Earth. That's an elite. Troll, Dispel, Ravens, Riptide, Scarabs, Zombies, Crabs, Spin Attack, Nomads, Mannequin. Minecart Madness, Constrictor, Dragonettes, and we have a uh, Syrawayan Sir Hydra. That's an elite. That is Melissa Benson artwork. Beautiful color there. This reminds me so much of the Sheevan Dragon. Just that, that style um, and those colors. We do have a foil. Grapple Shot, Blizzard, Extinguish, Scorpions, Common Sense. Do we have yet another uh, Avatar foil? No, we have a Sight. Um, let me see here. That's it. We have the mud flow, an exceptional sight wash with sludge. There we go. That's not the most that the foil in this really brings this card to life. 
because I feel like the regular artwork is kind of kind of drab and dingy, but man, the foil foil just pops. You get to see all the all the different stuff going on there. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. All right, so an exceptional foil. Finish out the pack. Vile Imp, Sandstorm, Minikin, Kill. All right, Pikeman, Harpies, Backstab. And we have a major explosion. That's an elite. All right, Duran, Mercenary, Scarecrow, Cavalry, Plumed, Pegasus, Goons, Workers. No foils. We have the Flaming Sword, the Albatross, the Flanks. And we have the Payload Trebuchet. An elite weapon flings out far and wide. All right. Pit Vipers, Barry, Cauldron Crones, Cloud Spirit, Wall of Air, Midnight Rogue, Buffer Fish. All right. We have the Bullfrog. Ribbit. Salamander. Basilisk. And we have the Ghost Ship. An elite. Spirit sail on dying seas. I feel like SpongeBob. Davy Jones locker. Alright. Bane Widow, Fey Changeling, Leap Attack. And we have Astral Alcazar. That's an elite sight. Stalker, Blink, Grapple Shot, Blizzard, Extinguish, Overpower, Pufferfish, Cavalry, Cloud Spirit, Pirate Ship, Candor Sight. Alright, Frost Nova, Templar, we do have a foil in this pack. Marine Voyage, Recurring Spectre, Elite. Can't defend, must be cast from your cemetery. All right, Harpoon, Warriors, Maidens, Cape Trolls, Incinerate, and we have another sight. We have an exceptional, the Shifting Sands. It's like a sinkhole. Genesis, reactivate the Genesis ability of your nearby deserts. It's a very cool looking Shifting Sands. Kind of weird looking regular art on that. Land Surveyor, Bats, Pirate Ship, Swamp of Flu. few packs left for the middle row, and then we'll be on to the last row. Right, we have Flood, Fort Unicorn, Giant Shark, and we have Rest in Peace. Cool looking graveyard. And no foils in that pack. We have a Shield Wall. Uh, Monastery Gargoyle, Minecraft Madness, we've had a few of those. We have the Magellan Globe, the Pac-Man, Pac-Man Connector, Mad Dash, Border Militia, Fade, Caravan, Dromedary, uh, Bats, Pirate Ship, Snow Leopard. All right, we have a Constrictor, we have a Blaze, we have Cyclops, I might have a foil in this pack. And we have the Observatory. That's another elite site. Uh, nope. Fooled me. We have Longbowman, Muse, Blood Ravens, Bolt, Firebolts. The edge of this fooled me. That white. The Scent Hounds. Sea Serpent, Unravel, Polar Bears, Teleport. All right. Last pack for the middle row. We have the Holy Ground, the Cornerstone, the Bedrock. That's the triple site right there. And we have the Yokai Kappas. And let's see, we have Scarab, Troll, Spell, Men of Lang, Turtle, Sleep, Minor Explosion, Bone Ravel, Nomads. And we have a Desert. All right, last row. Let's take a quick peek. We have one, two, three, four uniques so far. I think we have six foil. Does that sound right? Um, let's see, we have... One exceptional, two exceptional. We have the Spark Mage. We have six foil. 
we only have one ordinary foil, uh, two uniques or two elites, uh, two exceptionals, and one avatar for foil. So I think that's going to mean three foil and four, four uniques. Oops. All right, we have the Oasis, we have the Headless Haunt in the regular, we're also some Kobolds, and we have the Chaos Twister. That's Elite. And no foils in that first pack. So I believe we should have seven more hits between foils and uniques. There's a foil in this pack. We have the Phase Assassin, the Mummies, Sea Raider, and then we have the Ancient Dragon, which is just a gorgeous looking card to me. Lindsay Crummett drew that. Just That is just gorgeous. Regal looking dragon. It's an elite. All right, here we go. Let's see what our foil is. It is the Plumed Pegasus. I feel like we have found that before. It's an ordinary. It's pretty. It's airborne. Very colorful. Melissa Benson. There's that spark me. Okay, that answered that question. So that does come in the Avatar or Atlas spot of the deck. But I do believe that the foil avatars are all essentially elites. Could be wrong on that. Eel, Battering Ram, Watchtower, and we have the Infernal Legion. That's another elite. And... No foil in that pack. Frost Nova, Ultra Fridge, Flanks. We have a core. We have the Amethyst core. Nice hit there for one of our uniques. Relic of Ethereal Essence. We will take it. So we ended up hitting cores back to back the last box, um, which was pretty awesome. Felt really good about that. We got the, in the first row and then kind of got skunked and everything else, but that's okay. The Immortal Throne, a unique monument to life everlasting. That's cool. Do not remember getting that one. So that's a new unique. This reminds me for whatever reason, of the artwork on the Little Mermaid VHS cassette tape. Of course, there's no nothing dirty on it, so that's good. But for whatever reason, I just find it reminiscent of that. All right, we have the Ruins, the Dragonettes, the Frost Nova, and we have the Battlefield. It's an Elite. Let's see any... Doesn't look like we have any foil in this pack. On to the next one. I think we have six packs left for this box. Templar, Undertow, Marine Voyage, and we have the Edge of the World. Beautiful looking Elite Sight. And no foil. No. So I think we're looking for two more foil and two more unique. The Dapper Vampire. The Anui Undine Secret Tunnel. And we have a Crossroads. Elite Crossroads. Swan Maidens, Cave Troll, Spectral Stalker, Incinerate. Overpower, Border Militia, Mortality, Lamprey Sandstorm, Minor Explosion. I thought we had a foil in there. Okay, we're down to four packs, and I think we have four more hits to go. Of course, you can always end up doubling up on a pack. We have the Vantage Hills, the Secret Tunnel, the Iceberg. That's another uh, triple, triple sight. We have the Adept Illusionist in our Elite Spot. And let's see, Grey Wolves, Heat Ray, Ice Lance, Extinguish, we do have a foil. What's our foil? What's our foil? What's our foil? The Ashalon Phoenix. That is another Elite. Now, we have found that particular foil before. 
but as an elite, that's pretty good. Very happy with that. One more foil. All right, Mountain Pass, Frost Nova, Windmill, Polar Explorers, Elite Mortals on an Icy Expedition. That's our Elite. All right, here we go. We do have a foil. This is probably our last foil for the box. Caravan, and we have Teleport. That's going to be an ordinary foil. That, I think, is going to finish off our foils. Beautiful card. Just an ordinary, but pretty good spell. Two packs left. All right, Sunken Treasure, Stormy Seas, Psionic Blast, and then we have the Manuscript, Panoptic Manuscript. That is a unique, and we'll just go through it real fast. Don't think there's any foil, there's not. And last pack, there's probably one last unique in this pack. Let's see, the Gnomes, the Trinket, the Werewolf, and it is a unique. It is the River of Flame. We got that in the last box. But a unique. Take it as opposed to not getting a unique. And, yep, no more foils. Okay, so as far as our uniques, we have the River of Flame, the Manuscript, the Immortal Throne, the Amethyst Core, the Midland Army, the Boneyard, the Great Old One, and the Pendulum of, Pendulum of Peril. So pretty cool. Um, I know the core is good. Foils. We have Teleport, Ordinary. We have the Phoenix. That's an Elite. We have the Plumed Pegasus, which is an Ordinary. We have the Spark Mage, which I'm going to call an Elite. I have no idea if that's the actual rarity or not, but we'll go with that. We have Shifting Sands, which is exceptional. The Mud Flow, which is an exceptional. Crater Eyes, which is Elite. Ordinary Spin Attack, and an Elite in Chains of Prometheus. So we have two Exceptionals, one, two, three, four Elites, and three Ordinaries. If you counted the Spark Mage as an Ordinary, you'd still have three Elites. So pretty good foil, pretty good foil selection there. Um, I don't see like any huge hits as far as like value goes, but but pretty good. I'll, I'll take it overall. Um, and then our exceptional or our uniques were okay. Um, so we're still we're still just looking for like that really really big hit. I feel like that first box that we opened was like probably the best. So we've got a philosopher stone and a geist wood, which is a unique foil all in one pack. So anyway, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.